I was recently asked if I own any shirts because I film all my videos shirtless. And although I do spend an ample amount of time on my physique, staying healthy, staying fit, staying muscular, it's not why I stay shirtless. First off, I hate shirts. I hate having things on my arms. But secondly, it's because I don't want to have to worry about what shirt did I wear for the last video? What shirt do I have to put on this time? What shirt's gonna look the best? What color's gonna look the best in the lighting? I don't wanna have to worry about those things. And I don't want you to be focused on my shirt. I want you to be focused on my words, my message. In 2003, I lost function of all my organs symbiotically. They stopped working together and apparently they were all only working at like 10, 15%. I went from the best shape of my life. I mean, 185 pounds, 6% body fat, all muscle, to 123 pounds in a matter of two months. I was throwing everything up. I couldn't eat or drink or keep anything in. And I was dying. And I was living in, in the Princeton, New Jersey area, and we had the best doctors available to me. And I didn't grow up with money, but my adopted father and my biological mother, and there's more to that in another video, but they made sure that I got to see the best doctors available, the best internal medicine doctors, IG doctors, um, holistic doctors, I mean, you name it, and I was seeing the best of them available. And they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. I actually had uh, four or five colonoscopies within a month. You don't ever want to do that. That was horrific. And this was back when you had to drink that huge jug and the, the prep was a nightmare. Well, the whole process was, was a nightmare. And the doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. And after about four or five months of going downhill rapidly and basically dying, one of the doctors who had been seeing me for quite a while looked at my mother in his office and said, your son is going to die within a couple of months because we can't figure out what's wrong with him. And we can't find a way to get his body to absorb any nutrients. And I just remember looking at him thinking, wow, is this how you treat people? Like, I'm not dead yet, I'm still here. I don't remember exactly what I said in that moment, but I said something like, mom, it's gonna be okay. It's not my time yet. Because I didn't think it was until I hit rock bottom. And then I did think it was my time. But I started losing my hair. My nails became brittle and cracked. And so I decided to shave my head. I was voted best hair in high school as a senior for those senior year superlatives. In college, I got a lot of accolades uh, in the theater department and the music department as a musician uh, for having cool hair. I always had long hair. I loved my hair. I had dreadlocks and cornrows and braids, and I did everything with my hair. And I was really upset to lose my hair. So I decided to just shave it off. So I shaved off my hair thinking I'm dying anyway. I don't want to be focused on my hair. Well, here we are, 2021. I'm strong, I'm healthy. I continue shaving my head because I don't want to be worried about my hair. I don't want to be focused on something other than the message, other than the purpose. And the purpose of these videos is the message, not my shirt. 